Hey teen phasers, I'm Matthew Hoffman from Movie Buzz with your review of the movie My Sister's Keeper. Most babies are accidents. Not me. I was engineered. Born to save my sister's life. The film stars Cameron Diaz and Abigail Breslin as mother and daughter in a very interesting situation. Breslin plays Anna Fitzgerald, who looks to earn medical emancipation from her parents, who until now have relied on her to help their other daughter, who is suffering from leukemia, stay alive. Having a child who is sick is a full-time occupation. Sure, we still enjoy the usual day-to-day -day happinesses of family life. Big house, great kids. You want to see a routine? Oh, what routine? No. Hey, baby, what's your son? Cancer. You're a cancer? No, I'm a Leo, but, but I have cancer. cancer. Yeah. But beneath the exterior, there are cracks, resentments that threaten the very foundation of our lives. Fed up by years of surgeries, blood tests, and transplants, Abigail's character sues her parents for the right to make her own decisions about how her body is used when a kidney transplant is planned in order to potentially save her older sister. <sighs> now, I know what you're thinking. Nothing says lighthearted entertainment like a two-hour movie about cancer. But this movie is much more than the sum of its parts. Oh my gosh, it's really you. I'm Campbell Alexander. What can I do for you? You've seen my commercials. That's why I'm here. My sister has been in renal failure for months now. You're supposed to give her a kidney? I want to see my parents for the rights to my own body. Would you repeat that, please? What's going on? Anna, you're suing us? I don't want to do it anymore, Mom. It's my body. I want to be able to make my own decisions about what to do with it. Cameron Diaz gives a must-see performance as a mother who refuses to let go and proves she is a much more powerful actress and far more talented than her past romantic comedies suggest. Sofia Vasileva gives a performance that will no doubt be nominated for every award under the sun, and Jason Patrick also delivers the goods. Joan Cusack gives what is no doubt the cherry on top of her career Sunday as the judge who is assigned to the family's trial. From the moment we decided to genetically conceive, I suppose it was our fault. But it's against her will, so how does that work? We went against nature, but we forced her into helping her sister. And Taylor, maybe we could hang together sometime. Yeah. I don't mind my disease killing me, but it's killing my family too. What is she doing at the hospital? We're going to the beach. You take her to the beach, you're killing you her. Like She's to gonna no, die. You better come, because if you don't, I want a divorce. But somehow, Ryan! the very things that tore us apart. Anna doesn't want to do it anymore. I don't believe you. You are hiding something, Anna. Just tell him. Would bring us together in ways we could have never imagined. So yes, even though it seems there is a steady flow of many heart-wrenching scenes, there are surprisingly a lot of laughs during the movie. Alec Baldwin delivers a cameo to end all cameos, and most of his scenes are the perfect balance to the film's hard-hitting emotional content. In the end, My Sister's Keeper proves to be more inspiring than depressing. It's important for you to feel like you never gave up. Sooner or later, you gotta let go. I know I'll be okay. So here's a little wrap up. Movie ticket, $10. Candy, $6. Hearing a movie theater of grown men sob, priceless. I say go see the film, but forget the popcorn and the soda because the only thing you will be needing that's my review for Movie Buzz at TeenFace.com. I'm still Matthew Hoffman, and we will see you next time. I'm sorry I let them hurt you. You know how brave you are.